Welcome back! Dude is still there. We got a tail wiggling, we got a butt scratching. He's going to town. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, get it! Okay, I got way too excited about that. So I'm obsessed with butts now. Jeez. We skipped the line. Uh... <laughs> May I take your order? This is the employee of the week. You should tell him. Good job, bro. Look at menu. What can we get? Oh my goodness, so many options. The mini monolith, the monolith, the monolith, the poly cheese, the paleo or rat, jumbo monolith, the poly cheese. The Maybe big the belcher combo. combo. Is that where they got the last name for Bob's Burgers? Because that would be sweet. Space Spuds. Space Spuds. Sloppy Slurper. We're going to get the monolith fun meal. Does it come with a toy? Yes, it does. Uh, hey. That's why we're getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Would you like something to drink with that? Yes or yes? Yes, good tang. Would you like some space spuds with that? Notice his face is a little closer. Yes or yes? Yes. Would you like a black fruit pie with that? Yes or yes? Yes. Today's special, a free drink with every purchase. So we got a free drink. Your total is seven bugazoids. Hey, the man. I don't think that's a man. Have a nice day. Whoops. Okay, we got our meal. I, I skipped over him describing us getting the meal, but eat meal. Oh, man. Do you know how long it's been since Roger's eaten something? No, because they didn't tell us how long it existed between each game. Nummy, 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 nummy. Ow! Hey, what's this in my burger? Oh, it must be my fun meal prize. Hey, it's a swell decoder ring. Oh man! Drink your oval tea. Hmm, that was mighty tasty. Well, maybe mildly tasty. Well, maybe not tasty at all. In fact, it reminded you of the slick skin of a Vorlon mucus worm. I can't imagine what this franchise is based off of. All right, so we've got some fun stuff coming up here. We are now going to play Astro Chicken. So, now it's time to play Astro Chicken! If we had the hat, we could have worn the hat. Insert Buckazoid to play. Okay. Oh, it's the Back to the Future part. Sorry, not now. Astro Chicken must land on the Astro Chicken landing pad. He's depending on you to bring him to safety. Uh, left moves left, right moves right, down is to stop moving, and up is to toggle flapping. Don't use all your feed. Hit the landing pad too fast and you'll bounce back up. Landing outside the pad is fatal. If you fly too high, you'll bounce off into the atmosphere and die. I like that. It's back to the future. <sighs> all right, guys. Let's find out how many buckazoids this is going to take me to figure out. This reminds me of... One... Holy cow! This is kind of like the slot machine. Well, I just have to slow it down a little. <laughs> that was that was because of the fast speed. Oh! What are you trying to do? Trying to land on this pad, like that. Ah! ah! Like that! Ugh. Why does that happen? Because I hit it too fast. Um. The cock! What time do you have to do this? Until I win. This is getting stressful, guys. This must be riveting. Everyone yeah, I can't really talk, but if you'd like to. So, as you can see, it's coming a little hot, but the game accepted it. 
Can't believe that happened. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so close. But the controls are not the win. friendliest. It's like they don't want you to win or something. That's weird. Wow, look at that. This guy's a pro at swinging around the chicken. I don't know if that stands for anything. I can think of a proper euphemism for this. Oh, this is stressful as all get out. So you just keep going forever. Okay, that was a good one. That was smooth. Hey! All right, so as a fun little aside, uh, the first time I ever played this game, my friend Rennie and I actually spent 20 minutes using our decoder ring to decode this message. As you can see, it's a long message, and you have to decode letter by letter. This is what you do. You literally have to take a piece of paper and translate each letter until you have the full message. Now... We don't have to do that here today, because we are fortunate enough to have with us today the very gifted Rachel. Hello, that's me, in case you didn't know. Rachel has the ability to read alien languages. So she is going to use her magical powers to just read this message to us without me having a translator. Take that. Okay, is everyone ready? Help us. We are being held captive by Scumsoft on the small moon of Pestulon. An impenetrable force field surrounds the... I think it says moon. It must first be deactivated. Its origin is unknown to us. Scumsoft security is armed with J-E-L-L-O? There's always room for that. Pistols? Yeah. Huh. We're counting on you. Whoever you are, sincerely, two guys in trouble. Thank you. It's part of my Green Lantern powers. That's, that was so good. That was so good. I just threw that away. That was so well done. I'll be here all week. So, yeah, that went pretty quick. I think we can go to Ortega. And it only tossed me two Buckazoids because that first. That first one was embarrassing, let's be honest. That good. was... Goodbye, butt scratcher. Goodbye, Jabba the slut. Oh! You're gonna show back up in your cockpit eventually, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Enter ship. East planet. There we go. You slide back into the ship, the clo closing the hatch behind you, the docking control beam begins guiding you safely clear of the monolith burger. So there's only really one place left that we can go. I mean, we've got to get to the, the moon of Pestilence, sure. But we didn't buy these underwear for nothing. Let's go get a tan. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. Craters is there another? Surface. Yeah. See, Pestilence not even on here yet. So, all that's left for us to do is this raid on Ortega. And then the, our last video will be infiltrating Scumsoft and rescuing two guys. It's kind of funny that we're a little more than halfway through the game and we've just now got a plot, really. We now have a mission. And even then, we could just ignore it. I mean, who cares about those two guys? And the only reason we found out we had a mission was playing an arcade game and getting the Dakota ring. Yeah. Imagine how long you could spend just wandering through this game not knowing what to do. Orbiting Ortega. Sorry, I just wanted to be close to you. No. With a mighty whoomp! Can you give me a whoomp? Yarp! You set down the aluminum mallard on the surface of Ortega. Oh, uh, hold on. Before I push that button, I feel like there's something I should do. Uh-oh. 
My, my, this is one hot planet. Hopefully it'll last more than a few minutes. Can we put the underwear on? Do you think we should? Yeah, I think it's too late. I don't even know where we're going. We're just walking around. Too late. You realize that walking around unprotected on this planet is hazardous to your health. You feel your blood begin to boil, and then you melt. You sizzle into oblivion. This planet wouldn't be so bad if you could keep cool somehow. It's not oblivion. You still exist somehow. It's so hot you could fry a Vorlian flim snake egg. Death count. Or? I don't know. You're keeping track. I don't know how to count you this. Well, now that the flask is empty, I'm surprised you can. <laughs> After figuring out which side is the front, you put on the thermo weave underwear. They power up automatically, keeping you comfy at all temperatures. I actually would really like a pair of underwear like that. It's like a power suit for your dog. I would really like a pair of underwear <laughs> like that. Except the radioactive thing right on the crotch would worry me. It could be okay. My, my, this is one hot planet. But you don't care. You're beating the heat with thermo weave underwear. It should have been trade his face looks different, doesn't it? Yeah. He suddenly looks very hideous. There, that looks better. Why did he look so hideous one screen ago? It was just the angle. It's top down bad angle for Roger to make a welcome. Ah! Oh, 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 oh god. Death count five. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I don't think he was gonna survive that one. I mean, at least the underwear would have been fine. Just a pair of nice, cool underwear floating on a, the surface of magma. It appears that parts of this planet's surface are not entirely stable. Oh, really? Better be careful, or you'll end up in that lava fondue below. Along with Anakin Skywalker. Huh. This looks like science. We should destroy it. So... How are things? Yeah. I mean, my crown's almost gone, but whatever. Well, maybe you should have brought more. Because yeah. we're not done with the game yet. <sighs> so, yeah. This is good. Read any good books lately? Reading Harry Potter's. Oh, hey! Look, they're leaving! Oh. I don't have to pretend to care about you anymore. Yay. You hear the roar of the pirate scout ship taking off. The ship streaks across the sky to an unknown destination. Sound. Get pull. It's all yours. Where'd you put it? In my pocket. It's full of thermal detonators. You pick up one of the thermal detonators. Be careful. You could blow your fingers off with that thing. Detonators. We need them all. Do you really want Roger Wilco rock walking around with a pocket full of thermodetonators? Does that really seem like a good idea for him? Yeah. I refuse. He's already got a pole in his pants. Do, 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 do. Poles. Ah. We don't make ethnic references around here. Oh. Poles. Can I see a Polish method trick? Oh god. <laughs> do I? Oh, no, do you? Okay, show me a Polish magic trick. You people at home, I will try to describe. All right, she is holding up two OK symbols on either hand and twirling them around and dancing. Oh my gosh, and now they're linked! <gasps> and they're separated again! Holy crap, she managed to link and unlink her hands behind her head. It was magic. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, we need to edit that out of this video. Watching this is Polish. You reach the rim of the decayed cinder cone and are overwhelmed by the sight. An impressive machine of staggering size sits in the middle of the volcanic crater. That is pretty big. That's what she said. Yep, that was going to happen. You guys knew it. You knew it, I knew it. I don't feel good about it, but it's done. Why is everything pink? Because it's the future. The future's terrible. 
and the future does have had color schemes. I like that it's this huge compound and there's nobody here. They're all dead, Jim. Everybody's dead, Dave. What? Peterson? Sin? Shelby? Everybody's dead, Dave. That's why I said that. I see myself dying. Do you see me dying? Because you know what I'm about to try to do, right? Every time I look at you, I see you dying. Ha ha! You did it. Sucks. Boom! Why are we just murdering? The explosion disables the force field generator. You may now travel safely to Pestalon. They probably just killed like three. They were bad guys. How do you know? They kidnapped software programmers. We don't know that. Now we just gotta get back to our ship and we're done. You're trusting a game about a chicken. Uh oh. And I accidentally typed over it, but uh the explosion has made the surface of the planet even less stable. It's basically what that message was going to tell us. We should have parked the ship closer. We really should have. Alright, all we gotta do is get back to our ship. We know where the ship is, so we'll just go there and everything will be fine. We can get more detonators on the way. No more detonators. We're not fighting Sludge Volhall. We're rescuing some nerds from a software company. Yeah, just think of all the bad guys in the software company that didn't get blown up. Jeez. You never have to give me dead hunters. I love the soundtrack. It's just the silent rumbling. Silent. It's just the subtle rumbling. That's my stomach. My, my. Things have certainly changed since you were here last. That unstable rock has fallen into the simmering lava below. Oh, no. All right, Rachel, how do we get across? Yep. Really? Yeah. That's your option? Yeah. Don't tell me what a can and cannot do. Well, I guess we should just crawl into a fetal position and die. How about I try one alternate solution, which is going to be me walking off this cliff, cliff and looking stupid. Yep. Are you going to use that bowl that's in your butt? Your brow furrows in grim determination as you prepare for a tremendous leap. That's kind of right. <laughs> the Romanian judge gives you a 9.5! A truly outstanding jump by one of the finest young athletes we've seen this season. You'd like to try that again, but your pole seems to have fallen into the tumultuous lava below. That's racist. What? The Romanian thing? No, you threw your pole into the lava. Well... Did you see his magic trick? It was pretty dumb. That's pretty good. <laughs> see if I ever share anything with you again. Yeah, we should get off this planet. Yeah, get off this rock. We have a new planet we can go to. Hey, did you know that they're going to do Space Jam 2? I've heard that with LeBron James. Yeah. I don't know why they think they need to do that again. I wonder if R. Kelly's going to do the soundtrack. Let's just make it really uncomfortable for everyone involved. <laughs> right. <sighs> Pestulon. Unknown, surfaced, uncharted, uh, IT... Oh, what you... Surface uncharted. Inhabitants unknown, surface uncharted, it figures. That was a good job reading those words. Why are you here? I don't know, you invited me. Why did I do that? I don't know. I guess we could cruise over there. It's right next door, but... Light speed! Yeah, we've got it. Let's just use it. It's not like it's going to destroy the planet or anything. And plus, if it does, do we really care? There, we're there. <laughs> 69, dude. Oh, God. Eh? <laughs> we, we were already there. It's good. With a mighty whoomp! Yarp. You set the aluminum mallet down on the... It's funny every time. <laughs> Surface of Pestulon. So, this is where a square so a stump soft is, right? Yes. Okay. 
We're going to go in, we're going to rescue these programmers, and we're going to escape. There will not be giant fighting robots. There will not be a giant space battle adventure sequ action sequence. And we will not end in a weird Leisure Suit Larry 3 style ending. Cool, because I hate all of those things. Good. None of those things are going to happen in our final video. I'll be back. We'll see you guys then. Hi, I'm Luke Bryan, two-time CMA Entertainer of the Year. If I ever learn how to read, I'm going to read The Great Platypus Caper by Jeff Hillary because I believe in supporting fine literature. I'm Luke Bryan. Hi.